What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Beth and in today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys what is in my hospital bag. I always love watching these videos. I feel like I've watched a thousand of them while preparing to pack my own hospital bag to go in for labor and delivery and I feel like I watched them even before I was pregnant just because I was curious to see what you would pack for something like that. And so I'm gonna be showing you guys what's in my hospital bag today and also showing you guys what we have packed in our diaper bag for baby girl to bring to the hospital as well. I am currently 38 weeks pregnant at the time of filming this. I'm not 100% sure when it will be posted. So we have had our hospital bag packed, I think for probably two or three weeks now. I try to be pretty on top of it because obviously you never know when things are gonna happen, but we are feeling pretty good, things are ready to go. So I will get started and show you guys what we have ready to go with us. If you guys like this video today, make sure that you give it a thumbs up before you leave and also subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on any future videos like this. So I'll start by showing you guys our actual hospital bag. This is it. I got this on Amazon probably three or four years ago. I'll see if I can find a link for something similar, if not the exact same bag, but it's actually just one of the Amazon basics bags and it's like a weekender style travel bag that's got so many compartments, so many zippers on it. And I have absolutely loved this thing. I don't think I spent more than 50 bucks on it and it has been through many trips with me over the last few years. So so it just made sense in terms of like size and stuff to bring to the hospital. So this one is just my own stuff, like what I'll need for labor and delivery, that whole experience. My husband Jared will have his own hospital bag. And then as I said, we have a separate bag for things that baby girl will have. And so while we are trying to keep things minimal, we also don't know like how long we'll need to stay for. And so I tried to think through the most practical things based on the list we got from our hospital of what to bring, but also recommendations from friends and then other things I've seen people post on YouTube about what they they brought as well. So I'll start with this little outside pouch that we have right here and what I've got in here is something that I have heard so many people say. I feel like out of everything that has been recommended for a hospital bag this is the one thing that I've heard the most frequently from people and that is a 10 foot long charging cable for your iPhone. I will actually say that I was admitted into triage around 33 weeks just for check up to make sure everything was good with baby because we had a little bit of a scare and I didn't have a 10 foot charging cable with me. I only had one of the small ones and so I had to keep reaching around to check my phone and, and update family and friends. And so having a 10 foot charging cable is something I've experienced firsthand already going into this. This is like so key to have in your bag. So I went as soon as I got home and purchased one of those and that is definitely coming with us to the hospital. The next thing I have in this pouch is just Vaseline. It is like a lip balm, a cocoa butter one. Apparently your lips can get real chapped in the hospital and you don't wanna be without chapstick. So I've got that in that pocket as well. On this outside pocket over here, I have more of like the postpartum and breastfeeding type stuff. So I actually have a few different nipple pads and nursing pads um, for when milk and colostrum starts to come in. I know that your milk doesn't come in for like two to three days postpartum, but some people said it's worth just throwing in a couple of covers if you do have some leakage happening or you're uncomfortable. And so this is probably a little bit overkill, but I have some reusable ones here as well as a couple disposable ones that are in that front pocket. And then the next thing that I have in that front pocket is another kind of holy grail item that I've heard from people and that is Young Living's Clearaderm spray. So this is similar to what you would use for like a perennial spray like a witch hazel or something that you would put on the vagina after giving birth and so this is something that you use pre and post birth. You start spraying it around like the 36 week mark to start softening things, getting it ready for birth, but then you can also start spraying it immediately after for healing. And my sister used this, a couple of my close friends used this and said that it like totally changed the game for them with postpartum healing. And so this will be coming in the bag with me as well. Maxie thinks that he's also coming in the hospital bag apparently, he's like trying to get into the top pouch here. That will not be happening. Next thing that will be going into my hospital bag but is not in there yet because I'm using it literally every day of my life is this tumbler with a straw on it. I heard a lot of people saying that having a water bottle that has a straw is really key for labor and delivery, especially if you're like, 
trying to reach over to get some water. You don't want to be like dumping it on yourself. It's just not the time that you want that to happen. I know that it's a little bit different with C-sections and that they actually recommend against using straws because of gas and stuff like that. Um, but we are planning for a vaginal birth. This one was only $9.99 at our local grocery store, which is Zare's. I'm sure there are similar products to this on Amazon, but the key thing is making sure that you have a water bottle with a straw, apparently, and it's just cute. And for whatever reason, I feel like I want to stay more hydrated and drink more when my water bottle is cute. So here we are. So going into the big zipper here, I'll unpack and show you guys some of what I have inside of this. The first thing that I'll show you guys from inside this bag is something that I have shown you on my channel before. And it is this kind of silky soft night robe from Amazon. It just kind of cinches around the waist and it's a really good length to it. Like I feel like I could probably wear nothing underneath this and still feel comfortable if that makes sense. Like my butt won't be hanging out or anything like that. But it's just really soft and for when I'm nursing or I just want easy access and to just be comfortable and kind of airy after birth, this is a really nice thing to be able to grab and put on. I got it dark because I know that there will be a lot of stuff going on down there after birth and so I'm really excited to have this and just to put it on. It's honestly so comfortable but I will link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out because it was a really great price as well. The next thing that I'll show you guys from my hospital bag is something I grabbed to wear around the hospital and that is these fuzzy slides that I got off of Amazon. These were a great price. I don't think that they were any more than 30 bucks and I'm pretty sure they were actually less than that but I wanted something that I could just really easily throw on and move around when I'm walking around the hospital room but also through the hallways and stuff like that if I'm laboring there. I just think it's nice to be able to put something on that doesn't require you to bend over or figure out how to untie or anything like that. Not that you would wear that to the hospital but Again, when I was in triage, I went in with running shoes that day. Like I was wearing like Nike trainers and socks and I was like, this is not ideal because every time I had to go to the bathroom, I was like reaching over to get those back on. So I knew I wanted some slides. These ones are just really cute. And the material on them is kind of like a plasticky, like plush kind of vibe. So I actually feel like I can sanitize these really well and then wear them at home or outside on the back deck this summer. On the shoe topic, I don't have them in here right now because I'm still wearing them when I go to like the grocery store and stuff currently, but a pair of flip flops is something that I will also be packing or just wearing straight to the hospital. A lot of people have said that having flip flops for like the showers and stuff like that is a really nice option. So I'm planning on wearing those when we leave so that I'm already good to go and don't have to worry about putting them into this bag. On the topic of like things to be wearing, I also have these nursing bras that I've also shown you guys on this channel before. They are the Angelhood brand and they are also from Amazon. There's a few Amazon things in here just because it's been easiest to in lockdown like order all of that stuff online and know that we'll have it here on time to get to the hospital. But the package that I ordered came with two of their medium bras for nursing. And again, I wanted to start with something that was a little bit cheaper and kind of see what I liked versus didn't like because I've never really worn nursing or maternity bras before. I'm more of like a sports bra person and I've been wearing them throughout pregnancy as well. And so I figured I would just try the ones that have the, like the little strap on the side that you can kind of pop off. But these ones are really nice because they also have this little front access point as well. So really great price on these, two for 30 bucks. We'll report back on whether I like them or if I'll at some point upgrade to another brand for nursing bras because I know that there are so many different great ones that you can try. The next kind of wearable thing that I have in my hospital bag is the Freedom Mom disposable underwear. So I've packed a few of these in the hospital bag and then I also have a few that are just in the dresser and baby girl's room and I'll probably migrate over to my kind of like postpartum station that I have in our bedroom right now. Um, but this package comes with a few different pairs of disposable underwear that you can just throw on. They're like boy short briefs that you don't have to worry about getting bloody and messy and taking home and spot treating and all of those different things. You can just take them right off and I'm pretty sure there are four in this package and then four in the other package that I have. So they're a little bit on the pricier end. I think for like a disposable underwear, you could do diapers, you could go in I don't know, see if you actually just get straight up 
boy shorts from Walmart, but I have heard that these are really, really comfortable and it's nice to just not think about it. So I am going with the Freedom Mom for this and for the rest of my postpartum kind of disposables. Speaking of Freedom Mom, I also have their perineal, perennial, however you say it, bottle that you use for spraying the vagina right after birth. I know that the hospital does give you one, but at least from what I've heard, the ones in Canada are not super great. They're not on like an angle that actually really works and is helpful. So this one is supposed to be really great because it is a little bit more angled. And again, they just have the best postpartum products. I've heard so much about them. So many of my mom friends have been like, don't even like worry about it. Save yourself the headache and go with Frida. So that is what I have done for this product as well. In terms of other like postpartum care stuff, I've also got a few of these always discreet pads in here. I know hospitals can oftentimes offer pads or diapers or things like that, but this is the brand and the specific um, level of like absorbency and stuff that I've had most mom friends recommend to me. So throwing a couple of those in here and then I've also made out of these a few padsicles for when we come home so I'm just kind of rolling with this um, type of pad throughout the process and we'll see what the hospital is able to provide as well I've also got this earth mama organic nipple butter in here I know that it can be a little bit uncomfortable when you first start breastfeeding so I've heard that the earth mama brand is really great and I'm looking forward to testing this out hopefully I don't need it too much no cracking and all that stuff but we are ready to to go just in case. The next thing that I'm gonna be bringing on the breastfeeding side of things is this manual Medela pump. So this is just a hand pump to get things working, stimulation, get that colostrum coming in. It was on the list of recommended things from my hospital, so I don't know if I'll end up needing this while I'm in there, but I figure it was just a good thing to pack, so that's one of the things that I have and will be bringing it with me. And then on that same page of breastfeeding, I'm also going to be bringing in this little four ounce Avent bottle. I have no idea how much is gonna come in so I figured it would be good to have a bottle that I can put some stuff into if there is some extra leakage so that we can keep it in here just in case for toiletries and stuff like that right now I don't have my makeup bag hairbrush all of that stuff packed because I'm still obviously using that and I will grab that as we were heading out the door and put it into the hospital bag but a couple of things that I knew that I would need in advance I've already thrown in here so I picked up some makeup wipes to put in here just because I'm sure that if I am there for a while I will want to kind of clean myself up and get into a better place with that and I've also thrown in just a shampoo and conditioner travel size from Shoppers Drug Mart. I don't know what the likelihood of me showering is while I'm there, but I figured it would be good to have this on hand just in case. And then in the inside pockets, I've also got a couple of earplugs because I have heard that it can be quite loud in hospitals and that you will always hear it, your baby. You don't need to worry about that. But if you are a light sleeper, sometimes earplugs can be helpful. And then the other thing that I haven't decided on yet and wanted to ask you guys about is whether or not bringing a sound machine is something that you would recommend. My husband and I have the Hatch Baby Rest and right now it's just in Baby Girl's nursery. But I have heard a couple of people have brought that to the hospital with them to just kind of drown out some of the noise in the hallways and just make it easier for even them to sleep, not even the baby. So let me know what you guys think. Is it worth putting a sound machine in here? Is it not worth it? I don't know. Let me know what your input is and we'll kind of decide from there. The next thing that I'll show you guys, I'm sure some of you will think is kind of funny, but I have had a lot of friends actually recommend this to me and that is actually a roll of very soft toilet paper. So apparently the toilet paper at hospitals, at least in Canada, kind of sucks. It's like the lowest end toilet paper that you can get. So it's really thin and kind of scratchy and like 100% not what you would want to wipe with after you've just given birth. So Jared and I went out and we got like the softest toilet paper that we could find from Costco for postpartum. And I'm just throwing a roll in here just in case because who the heck knows? I would rather be safe than sorry. Last thing that I'll show you guys that I have in here outside of the things that I'm still waiting to put in that I'll also touch on just in case you guys are looking for ideas is actually my coming home outfit and one of my friends had the greatest idea of all time at least in my opinion and that was to gift me personally a comfy outfit to wear coming home from the hospital because so many of the things that you get at the baby showers and all of these different things are gifted just for the baby 
and moms get forgotten in that too and you are about to go through a major life event it's gonna be a little bit intense you're coming home you're gonna be super uncomfortable just physically and so she actually went into Aritzia and got me a set that I can wear coming home so this is their I think cozy AF fleece sweatshirt so it is just an oversized really comfy sweatshirt and then also this matching pair of sweat shorts that I can wear so just all in all it's a really cute set that I'm excited to kind of just come home in and save for that moment I know it's a little bit light and I'm sure that all of the mothers that are watching this are like girl you are gonna be bleeding and that's not what you're gonna want to wear I'm not super concerned about it. I've got disposable underwear. I can spot treat if I need to. So I'm excited to have this and I'm looking forward to just like having a nice kind of luxury item to put on when I come out of labor and delivery. I know that that's gonna be something I will super appreciate at that point in time. All right, so for baby girl, you guys know I have the Fawn Design diaper bag. So this is some of the stuff that I will be bringing specifically for her to have in the hospital. I'll show you guys some of the stuff that's most pertinent to the actual hospital stay. And the first thing is in the back, I have all of our hospital papers. So I won't pull all of that out right now, but the insurance information, like all of the stuff that we need to have about her dad and I is already written out, it's filled out. So that was the first thing that I put into this bag. And then in the back of this bag, I've also got a gather changing mat that I'm going to be using in the hospital. I figure it'll be really nice to be able to just throw this onto the hospital bed and change her diaper. And this is also just gonna be really nice when we come home and I'm postpartum. And if I have her in the bassinet beside our bed, I can just reach over and change her on this. So I will be bringing this to the hospital and I have it in her little diaper bag already. Inside of this bag here, I have like all of the hospital essentials for a baby so we've got some newborn size diapers that are in here I definitely do need to get more of these in here because I only have like I think there's seven so I don't know it depends how long you're in there but I think it's good to have a few more than that you're better to be over prepared than under prepared and then I've also got some wipes in this front pouch as well that we can have for just easy access in the hospital um, I did pack a couple of size one diapers. I know that the chances of us needing this are quite slim because newborn diapers go up to 10 pounds, but for whatever reason, I don't know. I want to be ready for that, so I've got that in there. I have a couple of swaddles just to keep her kind of cozy and warm for photos and things like that. So I have a kite baby swaddle in here. You guys know I love kite baby. And then we've also got a halo sleep sack here as well. So this is a newborn size that we could wrap her up in overnight if we are staying for a little bit of an extended period of time. And right now I only have one coming home outfit in here. I will be packing a couple more. I'm just not 100% sure what sizes I want to bring, what colors I want to bring, etc. Um, but we are planning on bringing her home in a kite baby sleeper. So this is a newborn size and it matches the swaddle I showed you guys before. And then we have a couple of bow options as well. So I think I've got two in here, a white one in case we want that little dainty all white look. And I also have this really cute blush kind of mauvey pink one as well that I think would be really cute. The last thing that we do not have in here yet and I'm still waiting to come in the mail is actually a pair of baby mittens. So those are like those things that you put on their hands to keep them from scratching their faces. Um, I ordered a couple of Burt's Bees mittens from Amazon, I think for like 12 bucks or something like that. And I think it depends on your baby. Not all babies will scratch their faces and have that be an issue, but some of them will. My niece did, and so I didn't want to see her face just like covered in scratches. So we have a couple of mittens coming in the mail that I will throw into the diaper bag for her as well. And then I think after we get her like a couple of outfits all ready to go and we're, we're good to go on that front, we'll have everything ready. Well guys, that is everything that I have packed in my hospital bag right now and in the diaper bag. I'm pretty sure I listed off all of the things that we were still unsure about or are planning on packing and have not thrown in here. So you guys didn't see in this video. I'll try and attach links to the um, description for this video for some of the different things that I've mentioned that are newer so you guys can shop them as well. But what I would love for you to do if you are a mom or if you've just heard from another mom some great advice on what to bring to the hospital is actually to comment that down below because I am not an expert in this and 
and although I have done my own research, I would love to know if there's anything that you really were glad that you brought with you to the hospital because it is a crazy experience and I would love to go into it as well prepared as I can, but also knowing that I don't want to be clunking around all of this stuff that I don't actually need to have with me. So if there's anything I've missed or anything that you're like, girl, you will not be using that leave it at home, let me know in the comments because I am super curious to know what you guys think about that and what you would recommend. I hope that you guys liked this video. Make sure that you do give it a thumbs up before you head out today if you do. And I would also love for you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet. Every single time I get a new subscriber come in, it honestly makes my day. And every single time I get a comment on one of my videos, I do read them, I try to respond to all of them. You guys have just been so sweet and I've just been so blown away by all of your support throughout this pregnancy. I cannot say thank you enough for all of the positive comments and all of the prayers that you guys have prayed over my husband and this baby girl and I throughout this pregnancy. We are just so grateful to be on the journey with all of you. And until my next video, I love you guys. I'm praying for you as well, and I will see you soon.